What's up guys, it's your boy DS, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock all the Great Fairy Fountains so that you guys can upgrade your gear whenever you want. Now before we get things started, there is a side quest that you guys will need to do, and that side quest is going to be the one at the Woodland Stable. Now if you guys need to know where the Woodland Stable is, if you see it is to the right of Central Hyrule. Uh, if you guys are looking at Lookout Landing, it's going to be going literally top right. And it's going to be right here. The closest shrine is going to be the Ikochu Shrine. So there you guys go as far as that. Now, before we can get this side quest started, you need to make your way over here to the Lucky Clover Gazette by the Rito. As you guys see right there. And the reason why is because you need to start this quest with her. And once you guys start this quest with her, then you can go back over to the stable and start that. Now that you're back at the Woodland Stable, you will come over here and they will have the quest for you. So from here, what you're going to want to do is, number one, you will need a horse. So if you guys don't have a horse, then you may, you'll may you you know need to go get one. And on top of having a horse, it needs to be able to pull something. So just keep that in mind for whenever you're trying to do this. So whenever you guys have your horse, you want to make sure it's able to pull something. And then what you want to do is you want to come here so you can get your reward, which is going to be the towing saddle. This is going to allow you to pull things with the horse. So uh, if you guys got all of that done, you want to go ahead and make your way back over there. And now that you're back over here, you need to make sure that you fix up this uh, cart right here. So we're going to need a couple of wheels. And then after that, we can go and take this rock from under here, put it down. And then we need to actually put this on the horse. As you guys see right there, we just attached it to the horse. So now the horse is going to be able to pull the, the cart. So after that, you are going to talk to them. And then after talking to them, they're going to jump inside the cart. And then after that, you can go and take them up to the ferry. So the next place you need to be going for the second ferry is actually going to be right here, the outskirts stable. And that's going to be right here on the map. So you can teleport to this shrine right here if you need to. And, uh, you know, jump down. And once you get here, you'll come talk to this guy right here. Yeah, yeah. He's going to be talking about the Great Fairy. And he's going to basically say that the Great Fairy needs to hear a flute before she can come out. So what we need to do now is we need to make our way over to Highland Stable. And this is how we're going to get the flute player. As you can see right here, it's at the bottom of the map. You guys can teleport to this shrine right here if you need to. And what you want to do is you want to talk to this little girl who's going to basically tell you that her friend is hiding. If you guys come over here to this tree, you'll notice that you'll hear a flute. And that they're hiding in this tree. And what Piper will have you do is they want you to actually get 10 fireflies. So what you'll want to do is, number one... You need to come over here so you guys can sleep or if you you know it's raining right now so i can't do anything about that you can go inside and use the bed but you also want to make sure that you guys put a stealth outfit on so that you guys can get the fireflies a lot easier so now that it's nighttime you guys want to follow this road right here from the stable and by the water there is going to be fireflies just make sure you grab 10 of them so after giving the fireflies to piper you want to go talk to our friend again who will be inside the stable And you'll tell her to follow you. After you do all that, you're actually going to teleport back to the outskirt stable, which is going to be right here. You're going to talk to this guy, and he's going to tell you that he wants, you know, that they need to get up to the ferry, but they can't because of the rocks and all this, you know, yada yada. So what you're going to do is, you're going to take this right here, put it down. You're going to go grab this other wheel. And you're going to end up fixing up this car right here. And then after doing that, you actually want to grab this and put this on the back of it. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and talk to this guy again and get everybody ready. Then after that, you just want to make your way up the, the mountain. So now that you got your second ferry, you actually want to make your way here to the Tabantha Bridge Stable. Uh, you can use this shrine right here. It's going to be on the left side of the map. And when you get here, you're going to be, there's either going to be people talking here. And if not, this lady right here. So you go and talk to her and she's going to oh. basically say, Hey, there's going to be a guy that, um, you know, went over the bridge and he ended up falling in a hole. That's long story short. So anyways, where that is, is it's going to be right here. There's going to be a hole here. So you want to make your way here and help the guy that, you know, fell in. So as you guys see right there, there is the hole. 
So all you got to do now is drop down and you want to go talk to the guy. And now what you need to do is basically fix up his wagon with some of these tools so that he can get his wagon out of the hole. So after you're done fixing up his wagon, I put two flame emitters inside the balloons and I put two fans on the back. You'll go and you'll talk to him. And after that, you can go ahead and get up out of here. After that, you want to make your way to the snow-filled stable, which is going to be at the top of the map. You're going to come talk to this guy right here. And basically, he's going to say that they need a roof on top of their uh, carriage or because of the snow. So all you got to do is grab something, put something on top so it acts as a roof. And you guys should be good to go. After that, you want to get your pulling horse. You want to attach this to it. And now that it's attached, you should be ready to go. So you go talk to him and they'll all get in now keep in mind if this tips over you will have to restart so make sure it doesn't but as far as that all you got to do now is take them to the ferry the next place we're going to be going to is going to be the dueling peak stable which is going to be right here at the Eshos shrine so bottom right of the map go ahead and talk to this guy right here and then that'll start your quest for the last one now for this you need three coarser bee honey but you should have got this from the guy in the last one that was stuck in the hole now after that you need to make your way to Kakariko Village and from here we need to go all the way down here so we can go talk to the guy Beats. So like I said, once you make your way right down here, you're going to go ahead and go through here and you'll hear the guy Beats banging on the drums. So now you'll go talk to him. After you talk to him, you'll give him the honey and then he'll say he'll come back to Dueling Peaks where you need to teleport to right after. And now that he's here, you'll talk to these guys here. Then you'll come see them right here by the water where they tried to cross but they couldn't. And so basically what they want you to do is make a raft so that you guys can cross over. So as you guys can see right here, I put two fans on the back. I put their thing on there. I put a control uh, st steering thing right here. And now you guys are able to go over. And now that you have unlocked this last fairy, you guys now have all four great fairy fountains unlocked. Meaning that you can completely max out your clothes. Whatever ones you want to max out or level up, that is completely up to you. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be super excited to max out your gear as soon as possible. One thing I recommend is maxing out the gear that you use the most first. As you guys see, uh, if you've looked at any of my videos, I always have my Hylian hood on and I always have the Hylian trousers on. So as you see, I already have those to three stars each and I'm going to eventually get them to four stars, which will be maxed out. But that's because I use them literally all the time. Uh, and the same goes for the champion's leathers. I plan on maxing this out as soon as possible. I need one more material and then I'll be able to do so. Uh, then after that, you can pretty much max out whatever you want. It's completely up to you. But just letting you guys know, I say that you guys should max out the things you use the most first. That way you guys won't be wasting your resources on stuff you're not going to use as much, opposed to something you're going to use all the time. But, I wanted to make this video just so you guys could get all of them unlocked, so there you guys go. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below, tell me what you guys said in the comment section. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.